Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. For those of you who are returning, I appreciate you guys so very much and thank you for returning every week. For those of you who are new, my name is Brenda and welcome. I am so happy to have you as well. Today I'm participating in the Thrift Road Trip and I will let you know more about that in a few minutes. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here is DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use one of these little flower coasters that I got from Dollar Tree last year. This vinyl, this beautiful vinyl from Dollar Tree this year. This little cake board I got from Dollar Tree. And then I found this plate at Goodwill. It was $1.59. And I got that this last summer. So I'm going to start off, of course, by giving it a nice, good cleaning. I did do a little bit of um, sanding on it as well. And then I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint and the color white to paint it. And I just painted the sides. I didn't paint the middle part because I'm going to cut out um, this vinyl and I'm going to adhere it to this cake board and then I'm gonna put that right in the middle of that um, charger that I painted. So here I'm just adhering this um, vinyl to that cake board. And I think this vinyl is so pretty, you guys. I don't know about you, but I just, oh, it's just so pretty. So here I'm just getting all the air bubbles out and then I am going to um, just use my hot glue. I'm just going all around the edge of that and I'm just gonna glue that right onto that charger. And after that, I'm gonna take one of these coasters here and I'm just gonna put some hot glue on it and glue that right in the middle of that um, flower. Then I'm taking this uh, paint I got from Plaid because I'm a Plaid ambassador and it's uh, the color is called Salmon. And I am just making polka dots all around the white uh, part of that charger. And then after that, I'm going to take this bow. Now, I just recently, uh, yesterday, in fact, did a video um where I, we redid some previous creations. And so this bow came off of a wreath that I um, just uh, fixed up a little bit. So I just decided it, the colors of the buttons worked perfectly and I would just add that to this. And that was all there was for this. Now, if, if you wanna recreate something like this, you could put a hanger on the back and hang it, but I wanted to do mine as a shelf sitter so you just have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below so today's challenge is the thrift flip road trip it is hosted by our green acres and the crafting cousins both of these are amazingly talented women and if you haven't uh, seen them make sure you check out their channels show them some love and then also check out the playlist it's going to be full of a whole bunch of amazing uh, crafters that are doing some thrift flips and I will have links to all of them in my description box below so I'm sorry you guys for DIY number two I don't know what I was thinking but I was so excited about this one I think I forgot to hit record but basically this was a wood piece that um, had painted birdhouses and it was kind of like 90s style and it was so cute the way it was but I wanted to make it a little more up to date so I painted it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. And after it was dry, I'm just using my little glue there to um, my little glue bottle so I could trace circles so I could make the little holes for the birdhouses. And then after I have them all traced, then I am just going to um, use my, what I use, Waverly chalk paint in the color ink. And I'm just going around and outlining each one of those uh, circles or those holes, supposedly. And um, yeah. <laughs> and you guys, I was so bummed when I was doing this and realized I did not hit the record button to show that um, birdhouse because they were so cute and I wanted to show you guys. But, and I only paid, 
it was a dollar ninety eight, but the thrift store that I went to, it's half off, so I only paid a dollar for it. So then I went and I painted the chimney with this black and I was also going to, well, I did do all the roofs, but then I decided I wanted to go a different direction. So I took that same salmon color that I used in the previous DIY and I went and colored or painted um, the roofs with that. And then here I'm using my elephant chalk paint and I'm just going to do some distressing all the way around the bottom, the sides, the, the roofs. Um, just kind of all over because I wanted it to be distressed because you know birdhouses are usually outside and they get dirty and so that's the look I was going for. And then I'm also going to do the middle part of the birdhouses as well. If you're new here I just want to say welcome. My name is Brenda and I am so glad to have you stop by today. If you enjoy um, home decor on a budget as well as thrift flips, gift ideas, and holiday decor, then I would invite you to hit that red subscribe button and become part of our YouTube family. I would love to have you join and then let me know you're here. I love to um, get to know all of my subscribers and I love it when you comment and I love to um, respond to you and get to know you a little bit better. And if you guys are enjoying this video, please make sure you give me that thumbs up and comment. Uh, that does help my channel grow because it lets YouTube know that you like it and they will promote it more. So after um, I got done with the big birdhouse, I did the same thing with this little birdhouse that goes on top of it. After that was all dry, I took this decal I printed from my Cricut that says home tweet home. And I am just adhering it to the front of this uh, birdhouse. But oh my goodness, this H was giving me a problem. <laughs> so I thought I was going to have a, a really bad problem there because it kind of stuck to itself. But I was able to get it to fix it. So I was happy about that. Um, so once I get this all on there after it stops giving me problems here, I took that same um, floral... Uh, vinyl. I actually took some of the scraps from my last um, DIY and I made some little birds off my Cricut. And I think they came out so cute. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to look and I thought oh, I'll just give it a try. And I think they, I think it looks really cute. You'll have to let me know what you think about those little birds there. Um, but yeah, it gives just gives them some life, you know, a little color and life there. <laughs> so I'm just adhering them next to the home tweet home. Then I took this, um, sorry guys, if you hear my dog barking, um, I took this skewer stick and I am painting it with my Waverly chalk paint in the color white. I only did about a quarter of that stick. And then I just make, cut off four little pieces and I'm going to be using these as little perches for my birdhouses. So I'm just going to add a dab of glue on the bottom and I just do... Um, I think I said I just do four of those and I just go around and adhere them uh, just like you see there. And then once I got those all on, I took these little, oh, sorry, I'm going to hot glue this um, little birdhouse in just to make sure that it stays um, since it came out. And then I took these little birds. I got these off Amazon. You can find them on my in my Amazon store. And I'm just going to hot glue just a couple of them on some of those little perches there. And that's all there was for this. <laughs> I love it. I think it is so adorable. Um, You'll have to let me know what you think about it in the comment box below as well. And I'm just bummed you guys didn't get to see what it looked like before. Oh, oh well. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can find the links to those accounts in my description box in my link tree, as well as the Buy Me A Coffee account. Okay, so for this DIY, I wanted to show you um, my treasure hunting. <laughs> this is me at the thrift store when I found this cute little piece here. It was, um, a dollar it was 99 cents and I just I couldn't pass it up so I put it in my cart but I'm showing you this too I'm gonna be doing this here really soon I was so excited about this little coffee pot I know what I want to do with it um, yeah <laughs> but anyways so here is what that little basket it's a ceramic basket looks like so I started with this 
folk arts um, home decor Nantucket blue. I love this blue. It is so pretty. And I am just going to paint this whole basket with that color. Um, I even painted the inside. Normally I won't paint the inside, but this color is so pretty <laughs> and it goes on so smooth that I just had to paint the whole thing. So once I was done, I took my home decor white wax and I am just brushing this all along and I'm going to put this all on the outside of this um, basket. And then once I have it on there, I'm going to use a paper towel to wipe off the excess. And you guys, I just love, 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 love the way this turned out. It is just, uh, I think it's just beautiful. So after I got that all done, then I just put some floral foam I'm just gonna glue it into the bottom there. And then I'm just gonna take some of these um, floral picks that I have, and I'm just gonna start cutting them apart and putting them into this basket. Now these are dahlias that I got from the Dollar Tree. I got these um, last summer or fall. They're beautiful colors. In fact, I was kind of surprised that these were from Dollar Tree because they just, they're very nice looking. Um, these are from Walmart. They're hop, hop something, <laughs> some kind of hop flowers. I can't remember the second word to that. Um, but I love these too. I got these at Walmart and they're very cute. And I'm just going around and filling uh, this little basket with some of those. And then there's these blue flowers I got last year at Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just adding a few of those in here since we're kind of going with the orangey blue color theme here. And then here, I'm going to show you what the, that is. I don't know what those are called. I didn't read it that fast. but <laughs> There it is. I love how this came out. You'll have to let me know what you think about this, but really seriously, I probably, mm, maybe 250 at the most on this, th maybe $3. It's just adorable. So here's the final reveal of all three items. You guys have to let me know in the comment box below what you think about it and make sure you hit that like button. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, yeah, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button, become part of our family and then say hello and Make sure you check out um, the Crafting Cousins and our Green Acres and then the playlist. Show them some love. And with all that being said, guys, I will be back on Tuesday with another video. So we will see you then. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.